that's all to come. Now, though, a scientist at Aberystwyth University has developed a fleet of unmanned drones that are helping us to understand changes in some of the toughest terrain in the world. Lecturer Neil Snook has built the craft that can fly for up to an hour. They've been used to take thousands of photos of glaciers in Greenland. Kevin Ashford reports. <laughs> Taking to the skies near Aberystwyth, this unmanned aerial vehicle, or drone as it's more commonly known, is the result of three years' work by computer science lecturer Neil Snook. The drone can fly by itself for anything up to an hour, all the time taking high-resolution photos. That was a bit better. And that's made the drone ideal for a research project in Greenland, where half a dozen of them are currently collecting data about the terrain there. What's clever about these is actually in the application, it's in building something which you could take to Greenland, which could fly quite a long distance over glaciers, uh, come back, we could land it in rough terrain. Um, they were robust enough to be repairable if, if we need to, uh, and we can capture several thousand digital images uh, over the, the glaciers. Beautiful. Lovely. Wow. Nice. These are actually some of the images that we've already captured from Greenland. This is the leading edge of a glacier and this is the, uh, the sea that it's falling into. Uh, quite high this, about 70 to 100 metres high, this cliff of ice. Uh, and it's the changing of that uh, cliff which the glaciologists are interested in. There are already more projects in the pipeline that could benefit from this low-cost drone technology, including discovering what sort of spores are present in clouds. Kevin Ashford, ITV News. A group of Welsh activists scaled the roof of an army recruitment centre in Cardiff today to protest over the 